It's time for a Sunday morning coffee talk with John. <laughs> Good morning, my friends, and welcome to a beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning out here on the back deck. It is, it is cool. The air is nice. It smells so beautiful and fresh out here. And the sun's not high in the sky, turning it into a sweltering uh, place yet. So I wanted to hop on and do a quick video. Um, I really appreciate uh, the conversations that we have in the in, underneath the videos. And I love going back and forth and hearing your points of view and hearing your beliefs, hearing your truths. Um, there is one thing that I have kind of run into a little bit uh, is... Uh, people will think when I disagree with them that I'm mad or I'm frustrated or I'm or I'm offended and I'm not that th I'm not that thin-skinned <laughs> I really am I'm not that thin-skinned um, I, I I respect your beliefs I just respect it what I don't respect is when somebody tries to force their beliefs on someone else including me so you know, if somebody comes on doing that, I just, I just delete them. It's not, it's not really, it doesn't, it doesn't affect my truth, and it doesn't affect my, um, my mood. It's just, that's their truth, you know. When you have your own truth, and you follow your own truth, you know, you are free of, of judgment, because you're not taking someone else's, uh, judgment on. Um, and... I think the world really needs a little bit more of that kind of thinking. Let people have their what they believe. Let the people have what they think. Unless they're what they're thinking and doing is is really harmful and hurtful. Um, and then you know, then you can voice your opinion. But the real the real lesson that I learned in talking to uh, people online is that people will choose things to be zealotous about. And I use the word zealot in a very specific way. Um, a lot of people think that zealots were a particular branch of Judaism. And that's, that's not the case. Zealots are the ones who took everything so literally. They, and they took it to the extreme. And they, they believed in uh, armed conflict in, in God's name. You know, zealots are the ones who really would, would go out there and fight and, be, and battle for. But there wasn't a, a sect called the Zealots. Um, in the, where, this, where this gets most confusing is when they call Simon the Zealot, uh, Simon Zelotes. And Simon was a Jewish man of the extreme persuasion. So he was a zealot in, in that regard. Um, but I find people will choose things to be zealous about. And none more so than um, the conversation, did Jeshua eat meat? And it's, it's fascinating. It's fascinating because I explained to someone this morning that Jeshua had a very symbiotic relationship with the world. He understood that this all was an illusion, that there was consciousness within. So, the question that came up in the, underneath of the video about uh, the little lamb being healed to heal the girl's sadness, the argument was, well, that wasn't even really an argument, it was a conversation. She, she asked the question, you know, would he have healed the lamb alone because, you know, the the, the lamb is sentient, and the lamb is, is loving, the lamb is caring, and, and you know, the, you know lamb, animals have, are, 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 um, are of God as well. And, and Joshua, as in my response was that Joshua would have either healed the lamb, or if he was hungry, he might have eaten the lamb. <laughs> and she didn't like that answer too much, but, um, but, you know, there's a there's a line in the Bible that says um, one person may eat everything, and one person may only eat vegetables, and it's not for one or the other to judge. 
Um, it's Romans, I believe. Romans 14, I think it is. Um, and then in Genesis it says, I give you every everything that moves on the on the earth as your food you know, you know so there, there's an argument either way and but i it doesn't really matter because because the only thing that's important is this you know in in matthew it says uh that the disciples asked what diet they should follow and uh joshua said i would be more worried about what comes out of your mouth than what goes in you know you know th this is an illusion this whole place is an illusion now consciously all, all all you're really eating would be the illusion of a of a vehicle that the consciousness is using consciousness of the animal do i believe that animals have consciousness absolutely do i believe that they have the same loving capacity that we do absolutely do i believe my dog has visited me in dreams absolutely and i'll tell you about that right now i have dreams occasionally where in the dream, I go to someone's home, and my dog is there. And my my dog has been dead since, um, let's see, two thousand two, right? Twenty years, my dog has been dead. But I go to someone in the dream. I go to someone's house to visit them, and I walk in. I look over, and my dog is there. And I'm like, my God, you're still alive. And he comes over and he loves all over and hugs all over me. And he does all the all the 110-pound Rottweiler love you can take. And uh, and it's just, it's like a great visitation from my dog. Does that mean that, that you know, his body was him? No, it means that he is still alive. He is eternal. Does that mean that uh, when I came across a... And I, I'm hungry and I come across a lamb with a broken leg that I'm not grateful for the meat? No, it means I'm very grateful for the meat and the consciousness of that animal is lovingly giving me the meat. But all of it, you know, the, the physical body needs sustenance from the physical world. And because the physical body is an illusion as well. And so, but it needs sustenance from, from the physical world and but the but the argument this morning it wasn't really it didn't really rise to the level of argument you know she asked her question I gave my answer she responded saying that's not what she believes you know she said quote unquote respects animals too much and I I respect that I respect her belief and I know a lot of people who are vegetarians and have uh, have enjoyed that life my next door neighbors over here fully plant-based people right i know that when i did two years of being a pure vegan i was never sicker in my life i was never sicker in my life and it, it i don't thrive well on a vegetarian or, or a vegan diet but is that wrong is that something to judge and that judgment itself is unloving, is uncaring. And the reason I say that is because, you know, I could be, uh, I think, it, you know, is it wrong that they force the Muslims to, to bow twice a day and do their prayers? So no, it's not wrong. It's, it's beautiful. You know, when I was in Egypt and I heard that call to prayer in the morning, I, it was beautiful. It was gorgeous, right? But I don't judge them because I don't do it, right? Because I don't believe the same things they do. I don't judge that. I don't judge someone for eating something that that I that I eat or or, or don't eat. You know, I don't judge somebody for that. You know, and so I don't. Ju I I really don't judge. And the point of this <laughs> video originally was to let you guys know that that when I disagree in the comment section. I'm, I'm not offended. I'm not annoyed. I just disagree. I just have a different truth. And you don't have to worry about offending me. In fact, the, a more appropriate way to respond 
the I believe would be the more appropriate way to respond would be to laugh because that's usually what I do when I see a, something that's so completely contrary I stop I say I respect your beliefs but I don't believe that and, I, and I'm usually laughing when I write it because to me it's so it's so foreign to what I believe or foreign to my truth that I just find it I find it funny I find most of the world funny it's one of the greatest gifts that I that I give myself is allowing the world to be funny rather than the allowing the world to be a struggle against other people's beliefs to, because they have to match my own so I don't I just don't go there so don't worry that that I am there because I'm not and if if you say something truly offensive I'm just gonna hide you from the channel you know if you can't have a a, a decent civil conversation I'm just gonna hide you from the channel and if you know if like this morning was was a fine conversation she said her piece I said my piece she said her piece and we kind of left it at that and that's a great that's a, that was great I, I you know we didn't judge each other we didn't didn't knock each other down in fact her response was I have too much respect for animals to, to eat them I totally respect that and I love the fact that she said I as opposed to you're supposed to that was a that was a beautiful response and I totally appreciated it and I think that if more of us would take the point of view of saying well that is my truth that is my belief and live it so today is Sunday live your truth live your life that is the way be the way the truth and the life and I'll let others be theirs but if they all lead you to a place of loving then that that's all that really matters now if you if your judgment is that what I'm doing is not loving I, yeah, I can accept that too but I you know judge not lest you shall be judged is the the line right but if you really decipher that line judge not lest you judge yourself as judgmental so you guys have a great day enjoy your coffee go out there enjoy the, the sound of the birds and the smell of the air and have a have a great Sunday see you later guys have a good one bye hey guys thank you so much for your support of the channel you know, every day I pour my heart into creating these videos so that they bring value. That's my, that's my goal. That's my intention. And if they have brought value to you and you have the means, directly below this video, you're going to see a donation link. You can donate as, as little or as much as you'd like if you have found value. Also, you can go to johnofnew.com, pick up my regression, which is the, the moment of me meeting Jeshua and witnessing the crucifixion is on that regression. My meditations, my mini courses, even prints of my Jeshua painting are available on the johnofnew.com website. So if you have the means and you, and you would like to make a purchase or make a donation, please feel free because this channel solely exists by your generosity. And I am completely grateful to you for allowing me to speak my truth and hopefully bringing value to you. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.